Welcome to yoga, gentle yoga. I'm Cindy. We're going to be using a strap today. I like to use a scarf um, and also a blanket for under your hips or your head, whichever one you like to use it. Or, and I have a bolster here. I know not everybody has a bolster handy, but also a pillow will work for under your knees when we go into relaxation. And in fact, we're going to begin lying on our back, so it's a good time to have that handy. So I'm going to use my blanket for under my head and my bolster for under my knees. You can just have your strap close by. You can grab it when we need it. So I'm lying in a reclined position. also known as supine. And just begin to close the eyes and drop into the breath. And whatever dropping in means for you, it can mean opening your awareness to it or becoming the breath. Falling open to a more receptive capacity to allow the breath to deepen and to slow, to penetrate, circulate. And one of the interesting concepts of expansion in terms of awareness and experience is to put our attention on constriction. So when we're aware of the elements that constrict the breath, we can expose them. And when they're exposed, they're no longer empowered. They dis they're disempowered. So we want to disempower the constriction by becoming conscious of it. So noticing in your body any constricted areas that limit your capacity to take a breath in nice and slow and deep and full. It could be posture. It could be something on your mind. And it could just be a natural limitation. Be your clothing. We'll just let our attention land and rest right in where we feel we're noticing some constriction, where the breath wants to expand, but there's a limitation or a resistance there. without trying to force. Just listening through awareness and sensation. What's arising where expansion and constriction or contraction meets. Think of it like where two opposing elements come together like land and sea, magic that we feel at the beach, or fire and water, where the expansion of fire wants to go on burning, but the water element comes in to create a boundary so it doesn't become destructive. So really 
opening ourselves to the beauty of opposing elements within our body of expansion and contraction, constriction. So where the formless meets the form, And on an inhale, extend the arms overhead, reaching out overhead with the arms nice and slow. Just feel the movement in the arms, the freedom to move the arms. Let's roll through the wrists and the ankles. It's a movement in the joints in reverse direction. And as we create these circular movements in the wrists and the ankles we're drawing attention energy blood flow into the hands and feet into the limbs and then let your arms come up next to your sides and goal post arms palms facing up elbows bent both shoulders on the mat or on the floor Expanding the breath across the chest and into the back, across the ribs. And if you're able to, take your hands up over the head, crossing the wrists. And you can either interlace the fingers here, cross the wrists, and let the hands come under the head, resting the head in the hands. Or if you want even more, reach your hands over to the opposite elbow, clasping the elbow with the opposite hands. And then we'll draw our upper body towards the right side. So we're creating a nice side bend here along the spine. Feeling the left side of the rib cage open. And then breathing into that expansion that you feel on the left side. And if you want more, you can take your left ankle and cross it over your right ankle. So take that stretch a little bit lower down. the outer hip and we'll breathe into what we're feeling. Good, you're welcome to stay here. This feels good. And you want to explore this a little longer, stay right there. If you want more, bending the left knee, placing the left foot to the outside of the right knee. And taking that a little bit further, take your right arm, release it and reach it up so your right hand is on your left knee and draw that left knee in towards the shoulder and down towards the hip simultaneously, feeling even a little bit more rounding around the curve of your left hip with that stretch. Notice as you migrate through these movements, how the sensation changes. Let our awareness just track the sensation through the whole practice today. And then begin to bring both knees into the chest. So as you do that, your 
right knee will bend and we'll scoop that left knee right up into the chest and we'll hug both knees to the chest here. Either wrapping the arms around the shins or reaching down to the ankles or using your strap around your knees. If you need that support. Use the strap as well. And then allowing both knees to roll over to the left side. So we draw our gaze over the right arm. And start to feel sensation now, wherever it travels for you, is your journey into body, to body, mind, awareness. safe and comfortable for your neck, turn your gaze towards the right arm. Take another breath here, preparing to transition and bring the knees up into the chest and roll back onto your sacrum, extend your legs straight up and keep your ankles crossed. Here you can place your strap around your feet, keeping the ankles crossed, draw the legs back. And releasing the strap, gently uncross the legs and draw the feet back. Draw the legs back. Of course, you can bend your knees a little bit to modify here. And once again, lower the legs, releasing the strap, softening the grip on the strap. Now straddle the legs a little wider than hip width apart and draw the legs back once again. This time taking a bend in the knees. We wanna pull down on the strap as it's on the soles of the feet and we push up into the strap. So the knees are pushing straight down towards the earth. Soles of the feet pushing straight up towards heaven into the resistance of the straps. We're using our arm strength to create that tension. And now slide the soles of the feet together and lower the knife edge of the feet to the floor. So this can be done resting on your bolster or your pillow. If that's more comfortable. It does provide a little something there for the knees. Some of us need that. And then slowly extend the legs. Relax the strap for now and take the arms overhead. Or begin in cold post arms if that's more comfortable on your shoulders. Feel the chest expand. Settle in here and shake the body a little to find what needs settling. So your hips and your shoulders feel like the weight is evenly distributed. head feels supported with something underneath it that's needed and that can even be your hands as you interlace your fingers and take your hands under the back of your head to create that support 
maintaining contact with the shoulders on the mat, the floor. And we'll take a side bend to the left to open the right side of the ribs. Now, for those that want a little more, you can take your left hand up to your right elbow and draw over a little deeper into your side bend. And if you want more still, take your right leg, cross it over. So your right ankle stacked on top of your left. Hook those ankles. Heel, that stretch, move down the outer hip. Bend the knee on the right side if you want that extra. And take that right foot to the outside of the left knee, releasing the left arm and placing the left hand on the right knee, drawing it in towards the shoulder and down towards the floor gently. We're holding these stretches for the purpose of bringing some attention and awareness to the fascia. So we're not just penetrating muscle, but fascia, which is a protective covering that holds the muscles and get really tight. We hold these stretches longer, we penetrate that. More resistant layer. Now draw the left knee in to the chest, scooping that right knee with it. Come back to your neutral position with your spine and either take your hands over, both shins, drawing the knees to the chest, separating the hands and sliding them to the opposite ankle or using your strap around your shin. Pulling back and in, feeling a little bit of a stretch for the low back here as that tailbone curves upward, away from the floor. Since our ankles are free, we're welcome to make some movement here with the ankles, some circles. When we look at language, we often find common patterns in our language. So the word circle and the word circulate have the common C-I-R beginning. So I think of creating circles with our body as a way to support circulation. Now take the arms overhead with the strap and hand, if you're using the strap, and then take both these over to the right side as you shift your gaze to the left. And if you like to, you can pull some tension on that strap if you're using a strap. Disengaging tension in the arms to feel sensation the whole body now.
Draw those knees up and into the chest. Extend the legs straight and up towards sky, keeping the ankles crossed. Take your strap into your feet. And then drop back on those legs to a level that's comfortable for you. Noticing sensation rise up the back of the legs. And since we have a slight internal rotation on the hips, there's a nice opening across the back of the sacrum. And then gently slide the legs away, uncross the feet, keeping the arches together, draw back once again. Feeling the lumbar spine lift slightly off the back of the floor. Of course, you can bend your knees here, modify. Slowly release, separate the feet and put the part a little wider perhaps for you, your choice, bring the legs back, back, back. You're going to feel your sacrum lift off the mat slightly. And then as you bend your knees and press the knees towards the floor and the soles of the feet towards heaven, you're gonna feel the sacrum roll back into the floor, flattening out the back. Keeping that spine nice and flat here. Opening into the hips. Breathing into sensation. Straighten the legs, bring the feet together, and then soles of the feet come together, drawing them back in. Hold the stretch here for a moment. Let your knees flare out as the soles of the feet come together, opening up those arches, and then slowly let the knife edge of the foot find the support of either the floor or the pillow, and maybe even your knees will find the support of that pillow as well. And we'll just hold this, hands on belly, breathing in, nice embodied breath, just below the navel. Resting in the openness of the lower body now, we've opened things up. Notice different quality of awareness and attention. Just make them in our own energy field with eyes closed primarily. Slowing down the breath and paying attention to what we feel. We've entered a different state different brainwave frequency. And then go ahead and straighten those legs, releasing the strap. Let your arms reach overhead. And then scooping the knees into the chest. Gently go ahead and create some knee circles here as if you're drawing a circle of sensation around the sacrum. So follow the feeling as a circle traveling around the back of the sacrum. 
And as the knees come up into the chest, let them roll over to the side facing me. So roll your knees towards me. Good. And then roll onto your side. And take that top knee, bring it up to the chest, and create a circle. That's it. Reverse direction. And your circle can be smaller than this. Does it work for you? And now with the knee coming in, we'll take our hand to the shin, keep the knee level with the hip, and draw the foot back, stretching our quadriceps up. You need a little support and balancing so you're not feeling like you're tipping over that bottom leg can come out front. And take the foot to the floor, open the hip. Bring the knee all the way over to the other side. Feel a nice opening across the pelvis. Take your breath deep into the belly here. Feeling a stretch across the pelvic bowl, the front of our pelvis. Kind of vulnerable position to be in, so we want to be mindful of our body's capacity to trust this openness. And then drawing your knees together over in the direction away from me. You're going to roll back onto your side, turning away from me. And take your hand to the knee and do those circles with the hips. Use your hand there to support the movement of the leg, or you can let your hand Rest behind your neck with the elbow pointing to heaven. Reverse direction in your circle. Moving through the range of motion slowly. And then drawing the hand into position to support that quad stretch just in front of the shin or down to the front of the ankle, if you can, wherever you can reach is good. Just keep your knee level with the hip so we're getting the maximum length on that quadricep. Again, for those who want to extend that bottom leg out in front, it's an option here. It may make things easier for you, or it may make them more challenging. Everybody's unique, so play with what wants to be explored. And then release the foot on that top leg. Begin to roll the pelvis back into position, flat on the floor, and let that knee all open, externally rotating the hip. Place the opposite leg where it feels right to support this opening of the pelvis. So 
I'm placing my hand where I feel the most sensation and imagining sending heat, energy into this area of the body to support the resistance. It's more that like a softening intention to soften. Heat is just one descriptive word. You could use ideas, and concepts like dissolving or melting or disappearing. Let your own intuitive guidance bring it to you. What we want to engage, interact with, experiment with, and begin to intend that our mind has influence on the body, which it does, and we want to direct and discipline and focus our mind in a way that is bringing healthy, positive, empowering effects to the body versus more constricted, fearful, limiting experiences. Now drawing both these into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug, feeling that sacrum. And drawing those circles and sensation around the point of contact where your sacrum is meeting earth. Imagine drawing a little circle around the sacrum as if you're drawing a little vortex, drawing earth energy up into the base of the spine. We have a lot of undigested energies there. So we want to encourage the support of earth and then draw your knees to your chest. And again, roll the knees towards me. Come to a sideline position. And then find yourself upright. We'll begin to come up and then move into a prone position. And we'll do a couple cat stretches here. Now, if you need the extra support for the knees, you can take your blanket under your knees or your pillow. And we'll round the spine, tucking our head and tail down and towards each other. And alternate that movement, tilting the pelvis forward and the shoulders back. And using the breath. Exhale, scooping navel up to the spine, rounding head and tail down and towards each other. And then reversing that. Scooping the shoulders up and back, the hips up and forward. And then sinking back into the hips, if that's comfortable for you, into a child pose, extended child with arms extended. Take a full breath through the nose into the upper back. Feel the intercostal muscles getting a nice stretch. Hold the breath in for seven counts. And then exhale through the nose for eight counts. Inhale through the nose, four counts. Hold for seven, the tension on the upper back. Stretching intercostals, ribs, rhomboids. Exhale through the nose, eight counts. With the intention to relax. And let's walk our hands away from me. And shift your hips towards me, getting another nice side bend here. Breathing naturally and deeply. You can use the four, seven, eight breathing if you'd like, or box breathing, or any kind of breath that's natural for you at this moment.
And then rising up, keep your arms where they are. Keep your hands planted into the earth there. Rise up onto the knees. Take the hand furthest away from me. Scoop it under the chest and reach towards me. And then sink back into those hips. Feeling that stretch across the upper back. Let your head rest. And then drawing your arms in as you rise up, keep the arms crossed, one over the other, and we'll come into eagle arms. So the elbows are crossed and we cross the wrists. And if we can bring the fingers of one hand into the palm of the other. Continuing to stretch the upper back, extend the arms straight. Uncross the arms and the hands behind the back. Expand the chest. And then exhale, fold forward and stretch back into cat. I mean, a child, sorry, child pose. A cat child. <laughs> I think they're called a kitten. Let your hips shift away from me as your arms come towards me. And feel that side body stretch. Rising up onto the knees, keep the arms where they are. Bring the arm closest to me. Scoop it underneath, slide under. And if you can drop into the shoulder, great. If not, just the forearm, that's fine as well. Work with what you have to work with. If you can come down into the shoulder, come down into the shoulder and then sink back into those hips. Resting the cheek on the floor. And then the stretch in the upper back, direct your breath where sensation is arising. You can think of the analogy of sensation rising up like fire in our breath, coming in like a cool, damp presence, tempering meeting the sensation. Not extinguishing it. Just softening the edges. Making sure that it, instead of being a destructive sensation, it becomes constructive. And then we'll rise up, keep the arms crossed. Crossing at the wrist, take the arms into eagle arms, elbows rise, shoulders down. Lean back a little and then release the arms and reach the hands behind the head. Behind the back, interlace the fingers, expand the chest, I'm going to turn towards you. Turn towards me, it might be easier to see if you haven't already. Draw your arms overhead and take the opposite elbow. 
shift your hips over towards the call it the orchid side of the room this would be our landmark the orchid side of the room hips shift to the orchid side of the room of course if sitting on your knees is uncomfortable you can sit cross-legged and then we'll bend our body in the opposite direction And then free up the arms and take the hand closest to the arc, to the floor, extend the top leg, come up and over. And again, we'll scoop under the chest, look back, stretching into a nice little twist, creating twists in the body. Is again, circling, creating circles, circulation. And it moves the fluid through the tissue and we twist. Opening up the chest, let the arm float back behind the shoulder. Press your hips towards me. And gently, with control, float back down into a seated position. Good. And you can take yourself into a forward fold here. Flex the foot on the leg extended. Hinge forward from the hips. Of course, your strap is really handy here as well. If you're not able to reach your feet, use your strap. Draw breath in, use your core, rise up to seated. Let your hands come, fingers interlaced underneath the thigh, just behind the knee. Scoot that knee up into the chest and let's circle the ankle. Reverse direction. Circle the knee. Reverse direction. And then place the foot into position for seated twist. So that could be to the inside or to the outside, depending on your flexibility. Draw both sits bones to the floor, squaring off the shoulders. Hug the knee to the chest with the opposite shoulder and arm. Draw the shoulder back. Reach the arm around. Good, the shoulder draws back, opposite shoulder. Back as well, so bringing those shoulder blades together behind the back, look over. Lift the crown to the sky. Bring the gaze forward. Come out of the twist. Draw the foot into the lap or a simple cross leg. You're free to have any kind of support in front of you. If you need that as you come to your forward fold. Let your upper body grow out of the lower body like a trunk and branches growing out of the roots of a tree. Feel your roots sinking deep into the earth and your trunk and your branches rising up.
tuck your chin toward your chest, lengthening out the back of the neck. And begin to draw your navel towards your spine as you roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take your time and roll up to a seated position. Bringing the knees together and transferring back into a seated position on your feet if that's comfortable for you. Drawing the arms up and over the head, reaching up, taking the opposite elbow. Shifting the hips off to the opposite side towards the foot still. You feel a nice side body stretch. Of course, you can modify this in any way that supports you. We try to bring those elbows back and lift the heart so we're not collapsing in, lifting up. And take the arms apart, let your hand come to the floor to support as you extend the opposite leg. Over the top now, up onto the knee if that feels comfortable. And then into the twist underneath. Threading the needle, going into our little twist here. Seeing a spiral all the way from the toe of the extended leg out to the crown of the head, and then unwinding the twist. Pausing here for a nice expansion and extension of the spine. Let your hips press forward towards me. Your shoulders roll back. Your arms fall back. And then come with the strength of your arms, support yourself coming down gently and slowly. Rising and rooting simultaneously as you flow into your forward fold. Flex that foot, use the strap as needed. And begin to descend here into the space between the leg and the torso. Breathe in, rise up. Exhale, float down, sinking and expanding. Inhale, expand with the breath, rise up, feel a wave of energy. Exhale, sinking into that soft landing here, opening up through the fascia and the muscles, giving way to the pose, giving way to the structure that's being Created to support. Freedom and integration for energy to flow through form, for the formless and the form to find harmony. Begin to lengthen out the back of the neck if you haven't already. Let go of any tension in the room. Using the awareness, your breath and your movement as one simultaneously integrated organism floating upward on the inhale and the expansion. Take the fingers interlace behind the thigh and under the knee, lift to support the leg. Rotate the ankle slowly, creating circulation in the feet, awareness. In the limbs, rotate, you have a nice little pop there. And then the knee, circle to three and reverse. And 
and then take the foot into position for your seated twist, either to the inside or the outside. Come around with the arm. So both shoulders are drawn back. So we don't want to round the shoulder forward. So you can pull that shoulder back as you pull the arm in. Keep the shoulders pulling back and towards each other in your twist. Imagine those shoulder blades pinching together at the upper back as we gaze. In the direction behind the head. Keep the gaze moving even further than your range of motion in your neck can go. Imagine if your eyes could go further and see behind your head what you would see. Gently bring the gaze forward, come out of the twist. Taking the foot into the lap for your half lotus or your cross leg seated position. Find your support as needed for the arms. Keeping your sits bones on the mat, we'll move to our forward fold. Checking in with that new flexibility we've created in our hips or our practice today. You should feel a little bit of a welcoming into new territory here. Just explore that new territory in the hips with curiosity. Mm, keep engaging. <coughs> Excuse me. Engaging. Length in the back of the neck. Surrendering the weight of the head. So the muscles of the neck don't have to support it. Even if you're up here on your arms in your forward fold, let the weight of the head get heavy and go towards the earth. Use your core strength, draw your navel to your spine, come up, one vertebrae at a time, turn the palms up, draw the elbows back, roll through the wrists, push the arms back, a oh, nice stretch here. Draw the arms forward. Take the hand closest to the orchid. Turn that palm towards me. Take the opposite hand, take the knife edge of that hand towards the orchid, and then push the wrist towards me as you pull back on the knife edge of the hand very gently. And then pull the hands to the heart, turn the palm towards the heart, and then push the palm towards me, stretch me top of the wrist. Pull the elbow back, push the fingers down and back as you extend the arm. Again, pull the elbow back, push the fingers up and back. Push the arm up behind the head. Clasp the fingers and draw it into a nice stretch. Straighten the arms. Pull the arm forward. And then hook the opposite wrist in front, crossing the arm over the chest. Draw that shoulder back. 
Release the hands, palms up. Reach back. Hands onto the knees. Lean back, uncross the legs, recross. Palms up, roll through the wrist, push back. Draw the arms out in front. Take the hand closest to the footstool, palm towards me, opposite hand taking the knife edge of the hand and pulling back. Notice that little rotation in the forearm. Gentle. Pull the hands to the heart, push out. Pulling back on the fingers, stretching the top of the wrist. Fascia on the top of the hand. Pull back and push the underside of the wrist towards me as you draw those fingers back and down. Pull back. Now the fingers point upward. Wrist aiming downwards and forward towards me. Keep it coming towards me. Over the head. Push down. Hook the fingers. Pull across. Extend the arms. Bring them forward. Hook the wrist. Draw the shoulder back. Release the arms overhead. Draw your attention down the center of the body, a column down the center of the body. Reach the arms back, float circles around the body. Move things out of the way, that's the way. And draw the energy forward and lift it up towards you as if you're bathing yourself in this energy. Pull across the back of the neck, releasing tension off the neck. Push the arms. Bring the hands forward, interlace the fingers, bend the elbows, roll through the wrists. Reverse direction. Doing all this work with the arms to open the channels to the heart. Push down. Lifting the elbow, stretch. Roll back, under, circles with the elbows. Opening that upper back, right behind the heart. The thoracic. One more on each side, open the heart. Bring the hands forward, push out. Drop the hands behind the head, rest the back of the head and the hands, push the elbows back. Sit tall, exhale, push. Anything off the body that's not supportive. And because we ended our, or excuse me, because we began our class in reclined position, we're gonna end in a seated position, cross leg, or straddle if straddle's more comfortable for you. And just resting with our eyes closed and our awareness on our body. If you want, you can take your scarf around your neck. And I just want to close our eyes and bring our attention to how our mind is landing on our body. Is it gentle, kind, present? Compared to distant, distracted, in the past or in the future. And if you sense that your mind is, and your attention and your awareness is completely fully present and honoring of sensation and body, that they are one. Begin to bring thoughts into your awareness that would be corresponding to what your body is requesting at this time. 
meaning tune into the body and let it be the mind. into itself. And remember this quote by Joseph Campbell. He said, cave that we fear to enter holds the treasure that we seek. So let's enter. Receive the treasure in the form of body wisdom. Put your hands, find your knees, and feel that as you draw back on the knees, straighten the arms and lean back, there's a certain stability in the body, in this triangular shape. And then lean back enough so that you can bring your knees together. And extend your legs forward and we'll end with a forward fold, bowing forward and honoring our body and our practice. Think of this as a kind of humble generous thank you to the body for allowing us in to some of these more resistant areas and for the body's willingness to dance with the mind's intention. And then when you're ready, come on up. Bring yourself up, imagine coming up with new eyes, a fresh perspective and awareness and take this energy and this awareness and this connection to yourself into your day. 